today we are going to be speaking about the unmade Halloween 3D. Halloween 3D was going to be our third installment of the Rob Zombie Halloween films. So we know that Rob Zombie's Halloween films aren't exactly, you know, the most cherished films of this franchise. Uh, especially with people that really love that original one. Just because Rob Zombie's take did put a different spin on it, for better or worse, whatever you think, it was a different spin, so it was quite divisive. And to an extent, these films didn't go down well with Rob Zombie either. For him working on that first and second film, he wasn't allowed to make, you know, the real true Halloween film that he wanted to make. This was due to studios and people getting involved and just ruining what obviously was his vision of these films. So with that being said, he ended up just opting out of what would have been the third installment to this. He didn't really want any part in it. This brings us to Todd Farmer and Patrick Lucier to get to work on Halloween 3D. The idea was they were going to need to write, shoot and get this film finished in literally just a few months. They did however manage to write a story and get it finished. Laurie was going to be involved in this and Scout Taylor Compton was going to be involved. Tyler Main was also going to be reprising his role as Michael Myers in the film. But to put it simply, time just kept passing and passing and nothing was moving along. Halloween 3D was going to literally pick right up where Halloween 2 ends in that end scene. If you have watched both cuts to Halloween 2, there's an ending where Laurie dies and there's also an ending where she does die. They were going to reshoot some of the ending to Halloween 2 and when Laurie takes the mask off that is when the film essentially enters 3D. Michael's escape in this follow-up is him escaping through like a hatch or something like that in like a hole in the floor and he essentially just vanishes which is crazy to think about what that would have looked like if we had seen that or I'm guessing we would have just got the police burst in and you know, it just be empty. In the script as well, we still do have this confusing like sibling thing between Michael and Laurie where it's kind of confusing with what Michael's aim exactly is with Laurie and what he truly is going to do to her. However, what interested me the most about this Halloween 3D was that Michael in this film would have taken on a completely different look, but also a very familiar look. And it was going to still be Tyler Mayne as the giant Michael Myers that he is. However, he was going to have the classic blue overalls and a fresh white mask. Which, you know, my guess would be that they would have just used or like remade the one that was at the beginning of Rob Zombie's first one. Um, and it was going to just be that mask. But just the idea of seeing like such a towering human in them classic blue overalls with the white mask i would have just loved to be able to see that just to know what it looks like in a couple of scenes and yeah the film just never really went into production which is why time passed and it kind of too much time moved on to where it was almost like right something new is going to happen now and obviously then as even more time passed on and different scripts came we ended up going with halloween 2018 but what do you guys think to you know what I've said in this video, the ideas that were presented, the idea of Michael being in the classic blue overalls, the white mask, that part of all of this really makes me wish that this did happen just so we could see it. Like maybe not the whole film be made, but at least we went into production a bit or, you know, got some test shots of what Tyler Main would have looked like. So yeah, let me know what you guys do think down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one.